because what he's prescribing in his speech is what at this point Barack Obama has a 7-point, 46 to 39 percentage point lead over John McCain among independents. That's important. This year, independents could be a critically important voting bloc. Let's look at this in comparison. Back in 00, 2000, the race was between Al Gore and George W. Bush. At that point, George Bush won among independents by five points. Fast forward four years to 2004, it was John Kerry versus George W. Bush. And in that election, Kerry managed to win by four points among independents. So the vote has shifted back and forth among independents. And as mentioned so far this year, we have both McCain and Obama close to one another, with Obama having a slight lead. Let's look at the rest of the race from what we see based on June data so far. What's interesting is that the loyalty factor of the base for both Republicans and Democrats is a little lower than we've seen in recent years. Look at the numbers there. You can see we have 85% of Republicans saying they would vote for McCain. That's below the 95% that Bush got among Republicans back in 2004. Among Democrats, we only have 78% right now who say they are voting for Barack Obama. That's considerably lower than the 93% of Democrats who voted for John Kerry back in 2004. Now, some of this may change, particularly on the Democratic side, after the wounds from Hillary Clinton leaving are healed. We may have more Democrats being loyal and voting for Obama, but at the moment it looks like we may have more movement back and forth out of one's own party group into voting in more of an independent category. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Editor-in-Chief of the Gallup Poll.